I would just like to ask people to think about what constitutes a miracle. And uh, for me, this night tonight and this wedding uh, is a miracle. And uh, you might think that it's a miracle to me because I have memories of bringing Elizabeth to church when she was one week old. And she was about the size of a loaf of bread. And I can remember carrying her like a loaf of bread. <laughs> but that's not why it's a miracle. I think I get my tears from my father's side. And you might think it because when Elizabeth was growing up in her teen years and her college years, she never went through a boy crazy stage. She liked to read, she liked her pets, uh, but she wasn't pursuing men. But that's not why. I said I'd always be the one. It all it could be because Elizabeth is very particular about uh, and has high standards. And uh, I knew that somebody that she would pick would have to meet those standards. It might not happen. happen. And that might not happen, but that's not why it's a miracle. Why this is a miracle for me is that 14 years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. And I was on chemotherapy for 12 years. And a year ago, the chemotherapy stopped working. And I had a spread of my cancer pretty much everywhere. And uh, the beginning of this year, uh, I was started on a new medication that has only been out for two years. and. Uh, Thank you, Lord, uh, the cancer uh, has been responsive to it. And so why this is a miracle to me is that God has been very gracious and merciful and has given me the time to witness this wedding, uh, to be a part of this wedding. And uh, I want everybody to believe uh, that it's true when I say that I never thought that I would live to see this day. Dear Bryce, I am so excited to marry you today. Professing my love and committing to sharing life with you is the greatest thing I've ever had the opportunity to do. I love you and will spend the rest of my life loving you. Yours now and forever, Bryce. A year from now, when you, Sophie, and I are hanging out at home, I will remember this day as the best day of my life. I wanted to start out by sharing the first time we heard about Bryce was in a phone call from Elizabeth two years ago and it didn't even sound like my daughter. I knew this was something special because her voice was different. She had this dreamy voice all of a sudden. She's mama. I've, I've met this man. He's just so nice. He's, he's so nice mama and he, he cleans up after he cooks. And he, he was wiping the counter. He was wiping the counter, Mom. And she went on about these things about Bryce. And I knew right away there was something special about him. And it wasn't more than two months. And Elizabeth was bringing Bryce home to meet us. And uh, we just knew he was the chosen one. Because there was a whole different change in Elizabeth after she met Bryce. She came to visit. One pretty day in summertime Held my hand And kissed me in the baggage line We were together in the heat Small adventure close to home our bodies Sometimes grew the slightest things can change the direction of our lives Bryce Courtney writes, lives have swiveled and changed direction on the strength of a chance remark, and such was your meeting. It changed everything. You're back there, Elizabeth. I heard you look pretty good. 
There's so much you love about each other, especially your wonderfully offbeat sense of humor. <laughs> Bryce, you're drawn to Elizabeth's capacity for compassion and her sensitivity to others. As a partner, she's a great listener, she's genuinely caring, you admire her depth, her knowledge, and her clarity of observation. No matter what we do, we can't go back to where we started from. And no, it might be nice if I could change. And Elizabeth, my mind you appreciate Bryce's so honesty and his attentiveness to others. You're impressed by his optimism, his generosity, and his willingness to make sacrifices for others. To make you cry, but you laughed at me when I was done. Why don't you marry me? We'll run away. Ooh, no, I can't believe too much today. presence of God's love to unite Elizabeth and Bryce in marriage. Um, so when I started trying to think about what I was going to say today, uh, you know, I started thinking about all the memories that we had and just thought after thought and the, the conclusion was, man, I was an asshole, you know, the whole, <laughs> my whole life. I mean, seriously, I know Grandma gave me a picture, so I had two footballs when I was on the big wheel. You can know I had two, it's because I didn't want Bryce to have the other one. You know, I think I stole all the Lincoln logs. I think I put you in the toy box, probably sat on top of it a couple times. But yeah, you, you know, the reason I bring this all up, Elizabeth, is because I know it doesn't matter how, how mean you are to him, you know, take him down in the basement, <laughs> put him in a can opener, a guillotine. Uh, I know he's still gonna treat you really well, and he's gonna be a loving husband. And as our officiant this afternoon said, you know, he's willing to do anything for anybody. And now to share some of Bryce and Elizabeth's story. She had to do a ride along at the fire department for her emergency medicine program and I was working that day. He was one of the first firefighters that I met. He was the cute young one, the, the rookie. And the whole day, everybody was teasing him about like how he should ask me out, and he was really embarrassed. <laughs> she was about to leave. Well, actually, she, I thought she had left, and everybody in the station started giving me, like, oh, you're gonna talk to her and all this stuff, and then she was standing at the back of the room. So that was a little awkward. So I went in the hallway, and I said, so I don't know if you heard what they were talking about. And she said, no, and I said, well, you wanna get some coffee sometime or something? And she said yes. She told me that she was probably gonna give me her number even if I didn't ask. The next day, Bryce, you called Elizabeth for a date. And within three months, you sensed that she was the one, love, you had been waiting for. too far we have just a little we have a little surprise so some of us Byron moms have a little tradition of doing something special for the bride and groom come, come listen to a story about a gal named Elle grew up in the mountains and did very well came to Minnesota to pursue her med career so we are lucky she landed here Come listen to a story about a man named Bryce. Has lots of friends, cause he's so nice. Then one day while working with the crew, 
In through the door came El so true. Well, the next thing you know, the guys are swarming round. Bryce stepped up, said, time for a ride along. So they loaded up the truck for the next emergency to rescue a cat from a tree. Fires, that is, sirens, big trucks. At the end of the day, Bryce was feeling smitten. Good he had a pen so her number could be written. The courtship began and love was meant to be. She found the ring under a tree. Well, now it's time to say congrats to Bryce and Elizabeth. You sure look cute and full of happiness. They would like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in as they no longer live in sin. Elizabeth, I take you to be my partner for life. I promise above all else to live in truth with you and to communicate fully and fearlessly. I give you my hand and my heart as a sanctuary of warmth and peace and pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor as I join my life to yours. Bryce, I give you my love, my heart, my hope, my joy, these I offer you freely. To celebrate love with you, to share my joy, to console you in sorrow, I choose to go with you always. I promise to listen to you, to express my innermost feelings, to labor with you, to believe in you, even when you doubt yourself, to be a mirror of your highest values, and to hold myself beside you for the rest of our days. I say these words because I love you, and I choose to live the rest of my life with you. This is my solemn vow. We are coming near the close of this ceremony. Therefore, by the authority of God's love in your life, the support of your family and friends gathered here, it really is my greatest honor as an officiant for the state of Minnesota to declare you to be husband and wife. Bryce, the moment you've been waiting for, you may kiss your lovely bride. It is my honor to be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Bryce and Elizabeth Fogelson. Please join me in wishing them a long and happy life together. definitely stuck out. She was just so nice. And she listened to she was listening to people talk for how like people were just telling her stories and she'd listen very intently and it was she was very genuine. I could tell he's a kind person and he uh, you know out asked me a lot about myself and um, was very interested and very sweet. She's so sweet to everybody. It's awesome. I inspire to be more like her. <laughs> <laughs> 